like an Eric Sermon sample. Circular motion. Now I know some brothers and sisters who would try and flip on me because this ain't no African concept. They say things like, why are you into that? You need to be more concerned about being black. Who you are, where you from. What you think about that? About being black. And my response to them is, point one finger at me, and there'll be one pointing back at you. <laughs> Motherfuckers always have opinions on shit and don't have all the facts. Opinions are like an ass track. Everybody's got one. So I learned to chill. <laughs> then I recalled spiritual knowledge I had acquired from a Tibetan monk at age 13. Ran up on me in the frozen food section of Kifu. He had on an orange robe, prayer beads, new Air Jordans, and a furry Kango. He schooled me on how to ground myself through using ancient postures and tribal chants. He said if used correctly, I'd meet up with brothers like Hendrix and Jesus. And I was like, word? <laughs> Shit. I mean, Bruce Lee, how about Bruce Lee? Can I meet Bruce Lee? No! Bruce is still too busy making movies, trying to be accepted by America. America? Americans? Cut this shit. I mean, what are Americans anyway? Now, my great-great-grandmother was a true American, full-blooded Cherokee Indian. And those black Cherokee eyes in her picture <laughs> would follow me around the room, no matter where I was. Unless I hid behind it, of course. So back in the days when brothers was talking that go back to Africa shit, I could have been like, hey, you go. I ain't never been there. My roots in this country run as deep as anywhere else. Rocking Chinese shoes at a Latin house party. Hey. Playing spoons to disco tunes with the knish in my left hand and the blues in my heart. Sure, I could stand to know more about Africa. I could stand to know more about a lot of things. But like Bruce said, the truth lies outside all patterns. I'm bigger than what you see. I'm everything that has happened to me from my beginning until my end, whenever that might be.